Ah, uh, we do indeed. We do indeed have a look at this, everyone. Bit of a dense, thick area, but we've got a leopard. Oh, this is wonderful. Another great spot by Craig. He managed to spot this leopard just through the... We came down into the Mulwati, so we're down in the riverbed, and you can actually see there's a bit of movement through the bushes behind her, behind that leopard. I think this is the female lying down, and I think that is the youngster behind her. You can just see some movement through there. But for now, this is a great view, and we're just going to sit tight and see if they do start moving again, just as I thought that they're probably lying down and resting after moving around a little bit, which is great, but they may get up and move again. But again, <coughs> just look at the camouflage of leopards this time of year. This dry grass, dry condition is perfect for them to disappear in the long grass. This golden coloration, the golden color of grass, their coat, the spots, or the rosettes rather. Perfect camouflage in the dappled light. Sammy Jane, you say we needed one of these, and um, I must admit, I wonder if he's watching, I hope he is, James Richard, it's your birthday today, I know, and you asked this morning for a leopard, so there we go, James, a leopard for you on your birthday, and anyone else's birthday, if you're watching, anyone else around, always nice to have a leopard on the birthday. There we go, let's see. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful? Oh, look at that beautiful view. I was going to say, wouldn't it be wonderful if she decided to come down into the riverbed and lay down in front of us? Let's see where she goes. I'm just going to wait a little bit before I move. Take in a second. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. It might get bumpy, but stay with us because I think we, if these leopards carry on, we might uh, we might miss them. But there's a fire break here. Oh, this could be tricky. I don't know if we're going to get up here. Let me try. Let me try. <coughs> Hold on, Craig. <laughs> here we go. Why did I doubt myself? <laughs> or rather the vehicle. There we go. There's a nice view of her. There she is through there. Um, just hold on, Craig. I think she's going to move soon. Yeah. Uh, can you see? It's a bit thick, everybody. Just give us, give us a second. Let me go back a little bit. Um through there or I think I had a little view through here maybe is that okay let's try that bit of an angle not a great angle uh, wonderful as leopards do they change their minds they change direction but don't worry at least we're on this side we might get a better view of them again <laughs> Let's see where she goes. Let's see. Just give me a second. I just want to make sure. I don't want to move again. If she goes back down to the drainage line, I might be a little upset. Now, I do apologize, everyone. I can have a clear look now. That is a young male. There's a young male that was moving there. And he appears to be stalking, I think, the female. Or now, apparently some of you are saying Hosanna. That's interesting. I don't know. We, we need to get a better look. I'm not going to say anything just yet. Ah, 
Now, I've drove through here a few days ago. There is a little gap somewhere. I just need to find it. And I might be able to get in there. It is very thick here, so I wonder where about Tara is. Sorry, sometimes getting these vehicles in and out of low range can be a bit tricky. Craig, please watch out for some of these branches. There are thorns on them. All right, now, oh, it sounds like, I don't know how, but Tara says she's in some sunlight. Now there's no sunlight where we are. Let's head across to her. Let me see if I can get a position and you can come back to us.